What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be assembling a simulator chassis from Sim Racing Pros. If that's something you're interested in, stick around. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys know, drifting a race car like this right here, it's very expensive. And the only way to win is if you practice. Drifting's one of those sports that you just constantly have to grind. You have to be at the track, you have to be turning laps. If you're not doing that, you're losing muscle memory and you're most likely not going to, uh, to, to succeed, you know, depending what your goals are. If you're just having fun, all good. Show up with the boys at the track once a month, turn a couple laps, have a good time, that's great. But if you're competing like me and you want to win trophies like these, you have to grind. You constantly have to turn laps and if you're not turning laps, you're you're not getting any better. So, I looked into sim racing. Sim racing is a big thing now. It's big talk of the town. You see guys in Formula Drift, young drivers coming up podiuming with these veteran drivers. Why? Because they have sim racing experience. They're turning laps almost every single day. So I decided to partner up with Sim Racing Pros. They sent me over their new simulator chassis that we're going to be building today on this video. And we're also going to be adding Sim Magic product to complete the simulator. SRX Sim Racing Pros chassis all unboxed. Let's go over what's inside. Starting with the frame itself, it came already partially built. This right here is going to be the pedal box. A lot of a lot of adjustability to, to find the right adjustability for you. Right there is going to be the seat frame. This piece right here is going to mount right on the top here, and this is where we're going to install our steering wheel column. And we have all the pieces here to attach to it to build a frame for our monitor. Going to the side, we have our shifter and handbrake box. As you can see, there's a lot of adjustability in here for all different setups, whatever is the best uh, comfort setting for you. And this right here is going to attach to the side. You can either attach it to the left side or the right side, depending if you want a right-hand drive or left-hand drive setup with that and you can see all these bolts for maximum adjustability for the shifter and the handbrake far away close the SRX Sim Racing Pro's uh, rig all set up. Let's go over a couple things that I noticed in the features and the adjustabilities of it all. Starting with the uh, monitor bracket, a lot of different height adjustments here. Angle adjustment of the screen, forward or backwards. The steering column um, rack right here has a lot of adjustability going up and down side to side so you can fine tune how close you want the steering wheel to be. The whole pedal box has a lot of adjustability as well. These brackets right here, these brackets right here, and even the bottom ones will move up and down and side to side. So you can really fine tune the uh, area you want your pedals to be. Going over to the seat frames, there is a couple different bolt holes to use. You can make the seat go up and back or a little bit forward. The shifter and the handbrake bracket has an crazy amount of different options for where you want it to be. I placed it right here for now. It's going to be about even with the steering wheel and uh, we'll make the adjustments if we have to once I have the seat here in place and everything else. The whole thing weighs roughly about 80-85 pounds the way it is right now. So I can technically still move it but I would uh, I would recommend two people moving it to its final living location. So the whole process for this rig took me roughly about 40 minutes. I used the website pictures just to kind of figure out what goes where. Uh, 
pretty pretty self-explanatory when you look at the pictures I only had to use two different tools it does come with the tools it comes with allen keys and uh, wrenches so you don't really need any tools however I have a toolbox behind me full of tools so I like to use ratchet wrench so I used an M6 allen key socket and a 13 millimeter wrench those are the only two things you need to put everything together the monitor bolts here are M5 I didn't have to use those just yet because I don't have a monitor and uh, once I get the monitor I'll know exactly if I actually need to use these bolts or if I use the bolts that come with the monitor itself so yeah this whole process fairly easy anybody could do it with any type of skill level like I said you only need two tools they come with it all the hardware comes with it if you look at their website and the pictures you'll know exactly where everything goes all right now that we got the sim rig all set up Let's open up these boxes and see what Sim Racing Pro sent us. They are one of the biggest North American distributors for Sim Magic product. That's what's in here. They sell shifters, handbrakes, steering columns, steering wheels, pedals, and many more items that you need for your Sim Racing experience. So let's get these boxes opened up and see what we got. Starting with the pedals, we got the Sim Magic P1000 pedals. These are base pedals, good for starters like me. Moving over to the steering column Alpha Mini. Once again, it's a good starter package from Sim Magic. Shifter, we have a DS8X shifter. It has an option of it being sequential and H pattern. Sequential is just forward and backwards for shifting, or H pattern is your standard first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and reverse gearing. TB1 handbrake. We also have a quick release 70 millimeter that will match our standard steering wheels. It is no secret that Sim Magic is the official Sim Racing sponsor of Formula Drift. Many Formula Drift drivers actually practice on their products. I hear nothing but good things. The feedback on all their equipment is as close as you can get to a real racing vehicle. Like this right here. so behind me is everything we need to get my sim racing world experience started I'll have to purchase a computer monitor seat and a steering wheel separately I will do that for my own preferences everything you see behind me can be purchased at simracingpros.com I'll leave a link down below make sure you guys check out their website for the best deals on sim magic products and one of their biggest distributors in North America also follow them on social media for their new product releases and follow me on social media if you'd like to see some more content with this new racing world experience that I'll be doing for the first time. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Alright guys, I figure I'd give you a little bit of bonus footage here. I have the whole rig assembled now minus the computer. I installed a Sparco seat, adjustable seat rails that I can slide forward and backwards. And I installed a 49 inch Samsung curved monitor. All right guys, so I got everything assembled now. I put sliders on the chair, so there's a lot of adjustability. So anybody of any age could use this. I like it as far as I can. This way I have a lot of movement towards my pedals. The shifter I put farther away from the handbrake. I like the handbrake to be closer to the steering wheel than the shifter. That is just my preference. You guys could flip them around. You can even shift them a little bit sideways if you'd like. I like it straight for now. Maybe I'll make adjustments once we get this going with the actual computer, but for now, this is pretty much perfect. This is where I like the steering wheel to be. Handbrakes right here within, within six inches of the reach, and then the shifter right here. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.